Hi, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Jordan. And this is part two of journals, Jordan's journal. We got our disconnected, our power died on us while we were making the journal cover. So we put the cover on, this is the front. And now we're gonna, we fold it over the access of this page. And Jordan's just gonna go ahead and glue this flap down. And I'm gonna use Elmer's glue once again. Just going to go ahead and open this. And just put it on the side. Good, you're getting the edges. Well, you don't have to get the edges because we're putting the paper over it, but we should really get used to doing the edges. Yeah. And we're just gonna hold that. We moved over to Jordan's craft area. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget this little flap that we folded over. We're gonna put some glue on that. Yep, just this time we will not want to put as much as we put on here this time. Just a thin line. Yeah, very thin line. Because if you put it just like a little of a lot, it will spread around when you close it and squish it hard, you know? Just going to close it and go. I have this, this um, ruler and I'm just going to put that on there. I use my um, ruler like a bone folder. Just going to fold a little bit more glue. It came up. Don't want that to come up again. There, a little bit right there. Okay, I am all done with my Aramis glue. I glued that side and that side. And now that all the edges are glued down, all the bottom edges. The bottom, bottom and, the and the top. We can glue this or we can cut it. What do you want to do? I think we should glue it. Okay. So Let's glue match. this edge. It was a little access here. Yeah. But this side, it's open right there, so I'm just going to put some glue there. And while she's doing that, Jordan chose this to be her inside cover. This is what the other side looks like. I probably would have went for this side. But Jordan wants this side with the little pokey dots on it. So we're going to glue this to the inside. And this is going to be our inside cover of Jordan's one signature journal. We have our supplies here just ready and waiting. Yes, and while she's doing that, we just started doing these films because we've been stuck in the house, um, just quarantining and staying away from people with this virus out on the loose, and we're running out of things to do. So we actually started watching YouTube videos, paper crafts, journaling, card making, painting, just doing whatever we could to stay busy and not miss going outside and going many places. Now we're in California in the Palmdale area and it's um, getting pretty windy and cold so we aren't going out in the yard like we used to. So we needed some indoor activities and I've always been a fan of crafting and now Jordan is a really big fan of crafting. And she has taken over my craft area <laughs> pretty much lately. So we're we're crafting every day. So we decided, hey, why don't we start filming some of these things that we've been making? Alrighty. So now that you've glued that down, we want to take the glue and go around the perimeter of this journal so we can glue this down. Do we go down the spine again? Yeah. So I'm going to go just around here like that. Get some dots. 
Be fun with glue to make though. And this Elmer's glue, this is one of the glues that Jordan likes and um, I get it for her. And since she does a lot of projects that she doesn't do a lot with, I get her the cheaper glue. But if you really were making a journal, I wouldn't recommend using Elmer's glue because it buckles the pages to kind of like warps them. I would use the art glitter glue because it's a better, it dries clear. Well, Elmer's also does. And I would just use a better glue. But for Jordan, she doesn't mind. She goes through a bottle of glue in about a week and to <laughs> purchase the art glitter glue for her and her projects, it just wasn't very cost efficient. All righty. So this time, let's see, you edge these corners up. Okay. Since this is gonna be your journal. journal. Gotta do something for my thing. Okay, let me undo everything. Make sure those corners edged up before you get to smushing really good. I'm just going to flip it over. Okay. Pretty oh, good, sure. pretty good. You get to smashing and rubbing. All right. Sorry. Get the that wasn't there. you. I got some finger, some <laughs> glue on my finger. No, because I did that. Is there glue on this? No, I got glue. There we go. All right, so now you have some excess. And yeah, so Jordan is going to cut off the excess. And be careful, try to do as straight as you can because we could still use this for inside pockets if it doesn't get messed up. Yeah, that would be really great. I think I actually am going to do an inside pocket. Okay, so you want to cut? As straight as possible. And take your time. And just cut along that edge of that book. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is for her so she can write and color and decorate. So she, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think sometimes we get caught up in trying to make things perfectly. This part is coming up a little bit, so I'm gonna smash that down a little bit. And then just get more glue on this. She wants to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna drip on you. Okay. Now, usually we just fold it like that, but this time we are not because we don't want any fold things to get on our cover. Remember, this is our cover. So, you want to cut, not fold. It's not fold only. Watch one. your fingers. It's a little bit more bigger, but no. I'm Katie and I make sometimes, I make mistakes too. So now we gotta fold it in the center so we know where our center is. Our center is right about, damn, it's really hard. You can't tell? I can tell it's right there, but it's hard like to fold. Let the table help you. So lay it on the table. And let that table help you find your center and we wanna Make that crease because we added another sheet of paper and this was a pretty thick sheet of paper. It's not like copy paper. No, it's pretty It's thick. about twice the thickness. Why don't you get the bone folder? I don't know if that ruler is gonna be good to make that type of crease. Okay, I'm going to go get the bone folder. Or you can use a bone folder or the edge of your handle of your scissors, whatever you have available. I mean, it doesn't have to be that particular item. Because I actually went months without buying a bone folder. A bone folder. That's a tongue twister. And she just used her scissors. I did. 
smashed it on there as hard as she could. I did. And just did that. That works too. It's the same as the bin folder. Just looks different. I just happened to just pick one up one day and wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to add our stack of papers. These are the papers that Jordan chose. Yep. And you can see one's just a little bit bigger than the other. And but that's, that's the. But that's okay because it's a journal. It can have small and big papers. Like in the last video, I did a flip through through my mom's journal. And then it had this really, very, very small little paper. It was like not even half, less than half the size of this. Like it was like that thin size. Like that. And she still put it in there. So it could be any size. But as long as it doesn't stick out, it can be any size. So these are the papers that journal Jordan <laughs> <laughs> Jordan chose. So she's just really excited because we are beginners and we haven't done a lot of videos we've done about this is probably our fifth one. Probably. Fifth or sixth. Fifth or fourth, I think. Fifth or sixth. Okay, this is our fifth or sixth video, so she's just really, really excited because we are beginners. So, yeah. so we're just going to start putting her papers in each other. And I like to do a different page with a different page. I don't like to put two white pages next to each other. Sometimes you have to, but I don't like to. And that's just preference. I like to have different papers next to each other. And since most of these are plain, I'm thinking maybe we'll do the first page with the print. So this is our little signature that we're going to put into Jordan's journal. Yep. I'm going to open it up. And for this one... Oh, did you want to put the pocket in? If you're going to do um, the pocket... Yeah, but I don't want it to be exactly... So this is... There's two different size, sides. So I think I want to do it like that. Okay. Okay. But if we're going to put the journal in, it's going to cover that. Oh, We need to put the pocket in first, if you're going to have a pocket. Now, what we're going to put this inside is going to cover the pocket. No, baby. It's just going to cover the center right here. So you still going to have a pockets? pocket here and a pocket here. Yeah. Yeah. One on the front and one on the back. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. You want a pocket? Yeah. Because this is your journal. He doesn't have a pocket. Okay. So, remember how we do pockets? We do the U shape. So you would glue, let me mark it because we did get our pen. You glue that and then so, that and then that. And you're just going to do the edge. And we stop right at the and dot. And we stop right at the dot. So you're going to glue. We put a little mark. So she's going to start gluing at this little dot all the way down. To the other little. All the way down, all the way to this, to little, this little dot, little dot to create her pocket okay so a very thin super thin get my glue because <laughs> it has the thin tip this thin, this tip is just a little too wide and I'm kind of scared it'll get in places it shouldn't be and this is a pocket so and hers is like very very small very very small. You want me to do it? Or are you going to do it? You can do it. I can do it. I can make the pocket. Yeah. Uh oh. Is it coming? Sometimes you have to stick the pin in it. And there is a little glue there. Walking on. Wiggle it around just a bit. Thin. Super thin line. Thin as you can, and you don't want to like um 
squeeze it too hard because you squeeze it too hard and get distracted by something and you're still squeezing it it's just going to overflow and like go on the table and go on the paper and you do not want that super don't move sorry don't move okay so you have your thin line yep now you know, I did not cut the straightest. You can see that. So what I like to do is like get the part that is straight that I didn't cut and put it like there. So it could oh. be the unstraight part up. Okay. So when you measure, it could be very straight. Okay. Good idea. Oh, is it there? Is it at the edge? Okay. It's a little bit off. Smash that. There we go. There's a little, the mark is a bit too high, so you just want to. Is it a bit too high? Oh, you know why? Because I measured it with this end. And see, this end is higher because it still has the white piece. And then it goes to the orange piece. And then it goes to the white piece. We should have just trimmed that. <laughs> but it's okay. This one is fine. And since you know this is really straight, you just might want to like do that and just fold it again. Right. So to make sure that that crease is there. Yeah. Okay. So before we put the signature in, I we still got these hangy over pieces. This slightly hangover, and this one on this side. And that on the bottom a little. Oh. So, my dear, you get to trim that, or would you like me to do it to get close? No, you do it. It's your journal. I am not going to be taking over. <laughs> <laughs> you have your scissors? Yep, they're right there. I am getting glue all on my fingers. Your Elmer's glue. How is it being I don't much? know. That's weird. Like, can I trim the bottom? Well, yeah. get this piece on the side. Okay. Ooh, don't stick me in the eye with them. Sorry. Oh, you're not in the veil. Can you sit down, please? I just want to cut as close as possible. And stick your own so. Watch your fingers. Then we're going to put the signatures in the center. Mark our spots. I like to do a sew-in signature with three stitches. And that seems to hold pretty good. That's what I've been doing um, lately with the sewing in and the stitching. And we're gonna eyeball it and mark. There we go. Yay. That's gonna be so pretty. And my mom is going to sew it in. So the only thing sticking out is this tracing paper. She didn't want me to cut it. She said to let it. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like them to stick it so on it Some of your journals, they stick out a little, and I yeah. kind of like that. I kind of like it, too. So we placed it in. We placed the signatures in the journal, and I'm leaving a little space at the top and a little space at, at the, the bottom. bottom. Trying to find a happy medium. And I'll just take a pen and find that fold line because it starts to blend in at this point and find a dot make a dot you can use any type of pen at this point where you, you want don't those have holes. to use that true you can use a pen pencil marker now where i made these dots you she get to has this little pokey thing punch a she... hole and i did not bring my towel remember my red towel makes it easier to punch through is it? I don't know. Oh, well, my pink towel. <laughs> so 
so we're gonna fold this my craft towel paint and all kind of things is on it glue okay so punch through that dot yeah and then the next one watch your fingers don't get so close and then the next one don't we want to do it while this is on there though so we can make the whole thing well we like to do the holes in the journal first holes is there and then there's the fold point right there Make sure our papers are... And be very careful with this because this has a very sharp end, you can see. It does have a very sharp edge. And then I fold this one. So I always take out the center page. I fold it inside out. Lay it next to the holes, making it as center as possible. Centered. I mark them with a small dot and then I fold it in so that I know where the holes are place it back into the middle of the signature make sure it's even take the all and stick it through the holes that I've made all three holes and because this signature is about seven pages total but 14 pages in all it's not that thick and I'm gonna place it here and I'll go through the center this is kind of the hard part because you have to measure those One tiny time. holes and then I put it through now Jordan you're gonna send the needle through the middle hole. Needle through, there it is, it's there. Did it go through? Yep. Can they see? Yep. There is the needle, that is not this, that is the needle. Pull it through. That's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do have to wiggle. Now, Can you see that? Which hole are you doing? The top. Can no. you see it? You don't see it? I see it, but it's not really in the hole. It's I not? See. There it is. Okay, now you have to run. If kids is watching this, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Because this is a really dangerous thing to do by yourself. My mom is So now you want to stick the needle into that hole. Do you see it? Yes. Yeah. Just going to make a little to come up. And this is just a roll of wax thread. I tried using other kind of threads. The wax thread is better. It seems to slide through <laughs> way better than the thread that I was using. So then we're going to take this one and we're going to take it down to the very end. Hold on, let me just make sure these holes are lined up because we don't want to accidentally make a new hole. No, no, no. That wouldn't look nice. Yep. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to wiggle it around so it could be big for the needle to go through. So, just you like see that. that hole? Yes. There it is. Wiggle. Pull. Slowly though, there you go. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull us a little more thread because now this one's gonna go through the center and complete our three stitches. And this one I usually have to go through again to make room for that second hole in the center. And I try to get it in that same hole or a little closer. There is the needle. That is not the needle. No. That is the little pink thing. That was this, not the needle. 
and we're just sticking it through. And now we have it through. We want to pull it tight. We want to make sure it's not lumpy. You can see this one is a little bit sticking up. So that's not tight. So we want to pull that and make sure it's tight. You do not want it to be sticking up. See that's flush there? Yes. You can have to push it a little bit down. And we take the needle and run it through the string and tie a knot. And I like to do this twice. So we take it through, run it through, and have the needle help you tie a knot. So it doesn't come loose. There are your scissors. I want to cut off the excess string. Put this to the side. Scissors, going to cut off the excess string. Always know where you place this needle because you do not want to. You want to make sure you put it somewhere that you know where you put it. And Step on that when it's on the floor. Then you want to press the spine. Make sure they're closing and they're folding. And now she has her journal. It's bound with one signature. She has pockets she can stick things in. That's an example. And stay tuned to our next video because Jordan is going to do something to her cover. Something exciting, I imagine. Something on the cover and in some of the pages. And in the subpages. So stay tuned for more videos. And don't mother. forget. She got to put something in these pockets. That's going to be for the next video. This is going to be for our next video. So this is how Jordan made her journal, her one signature journal. You can follow these steps and make your own or alter these steps however you see fit. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe to, to my mother and daughter craft time. Bye.